hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be reviewing the james charles times morphe palette i have it right here basically going to get into all the tea all the drama on this palette i do not have any ties with james charles I am not friends with James Charles. I'm a small YouTuber. Nobody cares about me, okay? I do not get sent free PR. I did not get this palette for free. I spent my own coin on this palette. So, we are going to get into the real tea of this palette. I'm not going to skip over anything at all, any blending. We are just going to get right into it. So, if you want to hear my thoughts on this palette, then just keep watching this right here is the palette and honestly it looks so beautiful I'm so excited to try this out it has some pretty looking shimmers and just it is just so colorful I love the packaging as well I love that it's black and sort of like sleek I think first I would just like to swatch some of these colors I mean what um so I think first of all look at this really bright yellow I want to swatch her so we're just gonna mm, just gonna swatch her okay this is what it looks like swatched I want to take this really bright neon orange shade. So I'm gonna. Ooh. Honestly, you guys. I don't know if this is on my part, but the orange is looking a little patchy. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give it another shot, but it's kind of like staying on my finger. Like it looks good on the fingertips, but when I put it on my arm. I don't know um so next I'm gonna take this pink okay here is the pink can you guys see this first of all um the pink looks a lot better than the orange did but it's just looking real streaky right now and that is not good. For some odd reason, when I apply this to my arm, it's just looking a little jank. It's, it's, the blue looks very, very pretty. Very pretty. The blue looks better than any other shade that I've done. Or, and I'm gonna take this purple shimmer shade. Ooh, that's actually my favorite. One last color and it's gonna be this blue shimmer. Okay, the shimmers look amazing. I'm gonna get a little bit closer because I feel like these arm swatches, the position that I'm trying to show you is not the best. So I'm just gonna zoom in. And as you can see, some of the colors didn't really take a liking to my arm. Um, like I said, I don't know if that's on my part, but I would like to say that I swatched all the colors um, pretty much the same way. I went into the band the same way. Um, so yeah, the orange is looking a bit streaky as well as the yellow, but let's just get into the look. I've been seeing the drama on this palette and the sort of rules that come with this palette and basically he wants the girls to use a primer with his shadow so that's what i'm gonna do i usually use concealer but because of this issue i'm gonna use a primer i am going to take my Too faced shadow insurance all-time classic primer this is my only eye primer so i'm just going to apply that to the lid I have already done my base as you can see because we just want to focus on these shadows. 
So what color should I go in? I kind of want to do this blue. Um, I think I'm going to go in with the pink shade. It's this shade right here. I think I'm just going to take that all over the crease area and just kind of pack that on. Also, he recommends, I think... I think if I'm not mistaken he recommends that you pack the colors on so that is what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna pack it okay um that's not looking too bad That is really not bad. That's actually pretty, in my opinion. That went on pretty smooth and pretty well. And I'm just going in, and yes, I'm taking more of the product. But as far as how it looks now, I didn't really have to do much to get this to how it's looking. I am going to continuously build this up because I do want it bold but that is not bad for how it's looking at the moment and like I said I'm just doing a little packing and blending motion to kind of get this color on that's actually pretty I like that color so I'm just going to do the other eye So that's what it looks like when I first put it on and obviously I just go in and build on that. Not bad. Um, This color is going on pretty nice you guys. I love the color of this and how bold it is so next i want to take this blue here and i want to kind of build that on my outer corners and work it in and pack it right on the outer and then blend that in and that's a pretty blue I'm going to pack a second layer and just pack, pack, pack. Ooh, that, that honestly looks very pretty, you guys. I love that. You can see that. I'm just packing, packing, and packing. And that's blending into the pink really, really beautifully. Is it kind of changing color? At the top, it kind of changes into, it almost looks like a purple where it blends. I don't know if that's what they intended, but yeah, kind of where it blends, it kind of turns into this purpley shade. But I still think it's really, really pretty. I'm just going to pack on some more of that blue because I don't want to lose the blue. So I'm just pack, pack, packing that and then I'm going to go in and blend it out. And I'm going to kind of blend this out with my Morphe M441 brush. So yeah, as I said, when you blend it into the pink, when you blend the blue with the pink, it creates purple. But I mean, that's pretty expected. Um, that's kind of what happens when you mix colors. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. You can still see the blue at my lower lid. Um, I just didn't want to lose all of it, but you can still see it. I definitely feel like I lost a lot of the blue that I wanted. I wanted it to be like 
that bold blue that I'm seeing in the palette. But again, once you're mixing shades, it kind of takes away from the actual color. So again, I'm just packing this on. But like I said, it blended pretty, pretty well. I'm just packing some more of this blue because I just feel like I lost it and I need it back because it's so pretty. I'm just going to try to like pack this and blend it at the same time so that I don't lose any of the blue. So again, I'm going to try to go in lightly, not too much, and just blend this in. Again, it's blending pretty okay. It's blending normal. So it's fine on that. Okay, so what shade do I want to use now? I kind of want to use this yellow, but I don't want it to take away from my look. Hmm. I'm going to make this colorful because that is the entire point of the palette. So I'm going to go in with this green here and I'm just going to put that right in the middle. Ooh, I am loving that green and not too much. Because we don't want to take away from the rest of the look. But like I said, right in the middle, I'm just going to stamp that. And I like that green as well. It's not as bright, I guess, as it would be because it is on top of this pink, maybe. I'm going to try to apply several layers of this is not bad that is okay with me oh i love that and again i am just lightly packing this in the middle i like how that turned out okay do i want to take another color i low key high key really want to use this bright yellow shade but I really am liking how this eye look is looking so far um I think for the fun of this I'm just gonna go in with the bright yellow shade and I'm gonna take that into my crease and it's this yellow shade right here you guys I actually had the paper well plastic slip with all the names on them but I tossed that out I don't really care for that you know it's just a piece of plastic and I kind of hate when makeup companies do that because it's kind of like I don't care about a piece of plastic sitting on my palette it's trash to me um so I do not have the names of this but it's the only yellow shade in the palette so <laughs> And I'm just going to put that, oh gosh, right in my crease area. And it's kind of not showing up. Am I going to have to do a lot of this? Okay, there it goes. I feel like I'm definitely going to need a lot of this yellow to get the color to pay off. And that's, you know, understandable. It's probably just because I have this bright pink sitting underneath it. So I'm just going to try to keep packing the yellow to where it just pops. And that doesn't look so bad. But I'm just going to keep going to build this color up. Is that bright enough for me? I guess so. Yeah. So that is what the yellow looks like. 
like I said, I'm sure it would be a lot brighter if I didn't have this pink right underneath it. I don't know if this is just my corner acting funny, but it's starting to get like crumbled up in my corner. And maybe that's just because it's kind of wet here. I don't know, but it didn't do it on this side. And on this side, it's starting to get sort of like crumbled. I think I want to take this bright purple. Whoa, should I do the bright purple or the dark purple? I think I want to take this dark purple shade here and put that on my lower lash line. Take my L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black and just apply it to my lower and top. So I know for lashes, I talk about Miss Lily Lashes and her $30 lashes a lot because I've ordered them before, like I said, and $30 I'm not too fond of for lashes that I just don't love but just recently she came out with these $11.99 lashes and that's more my speed so they're limited edition lashes and they're all named after like cities and I picked up Houston but also, I saw for Cyber Monday that her lashes were on sale for about 20 bucks, And I was like, should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? No, I didn't do it. I'm just going to try these $11.99 ones. And while those are getting tacky, I'm just going to apply some blush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio that I recently picked up from Marshalls. I think I want to mix these two at the ends. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, I didn't do my highlighter. So, I'm going to take my favorite, all-time favorite highlighter. This is the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette. And I think I want to take Dream right here in the middle. Cannot forget about your highlight. What was I thinking? And I have to be careful with this highlight because it goes on. I barely have to dip into the pan. Oh, Houston. Houston is bad. I like the shape of this lash. I have to say, I love this lash. I should maybe give Lily Lashes another shot. Because you know how sometimes you can try something and then change your mind? I don't know. We'll see. But this is a pretty lash. I love this. And these go on nice as well. The style of these. I Because like I said, I tried the Lily Lashes in Miami. And I also did not like the way it went on my lash line because I had to cut the band and these just go right on. They feel good. But the sad part again, like I said, is these are limited edition and I don't know when these will be coming back on her site because they're not like her regular lashes for lips i am going to take this bare minerals mini lipstick that i got this is the bare minerals um i guess liquid lipstick in the shade swag and i'm gonna take my nyx liner in espresso is this espresso yeah in espresso because i always do this step Ooh, she is bright pink. 
think we should tone it down for this colorful look. But I really like the color of this. I need to get the full size of it. And what came with it as well is the Bare Minerals Gin Nude, Gin Nude Lip Gloss. And it's in the shade Everything. So. Oh. My gosh. Oh. My gosh. I need the full size of this now. ASAP. That is so pretty. Oh, and it smells so good. <sighs> so my thoughts on this palette. Firstly, I just want to say it blended really, really nicely. I love all of the colors. I love this look that I pulled together with this palette. Um, I guess I was kind of expecting the colors to be a little more bright. I don't know maybe that's just me but also like I said I guess it kind of factors into what colors you choose to use and what colors you choose to mix because I guess that could determine how your look turns out. It wasn't patchy for me at all when I applied the colors on my eye. Um, like I said before when I swatched some of the shades on my arm they were looking a little a little jank a little patchy. But as I said, when I applied that blue to my outer corner, it really looked beautiful. So all in all, would I recommend this palette? Absolutely. I think I will be putting some good use to this palette. You can do so many looks with this palette. It's not only just, you know, bright colors. It is also some neutrals in there that you can play around with and yeah i would definitely recommend this palette look at all the pan space that you get and the sizes of the pants this was only 39 bucks so definitely definitely would recommend this palette yeah be sure to try this palette out and let me know how it worked out for you as always i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i would love some love please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.